A key decision is coming that could lead to some teenagers being required to get the COVID-19 vaccine. Good evening, I'm Angela Taylor. I'm Rod Carter. Glad you could join us tonight. However, Governor Roy Cooper says it is too soon to take that step. Capitol reporter Michael Highland is live in Raleigh to explain why that is. Michael. I asked him about this because a state agency is set to talk about this tomorrow, and their decision could impact a lot more than just high school students. We have about five more minutes. When kids go back to school this fall, there's a push for more of them to be required to get the COVID-19 vaccine. Stella Anderson is a professor at Appalachian State University. She's one of the people who filed a petition with the state's Commission for Public Health calling for the requirement for students 17 and up or entering their senior year. Our concern is not K-12. It's for college students. Her goal is that the requirement would extend to students at her school. While some private colleges do require the vaccine, the UNC system does not. We have safety concerns, but over and above that, we have real concerns from firsthand experience about how disruptive it is to campus operations. Ahead of the commission's meeting Wednesday, I obtained a memo from state health officials calling the requirement premature. I asked Governor Roy Cooper about it as well. I'm gonna agree with my health officials that at this point, it's not time to do that. What do you think you need to see to get to the point that you would support requiring the vaccine? Yeah, I'm gonna leave that to the health officials because there are certain benchmarks that they look at before doing that. Uh, it is clear, however, that people should get vaccinated and boosted. Johan Romero is a student at NC State. He had COVID, but is vaccinated and thinks it should be a choice. Forcing people to do things just results in like the opposite effect. Alicia Weinhofer is a grad student who'd like to see a mandate. As TAs, we have to teach students, so we have to be around students, quite a few of them all the time. And just for our personal safety, it would be good. Anderson says if the petition is rejected, she would like to see the commission tell the schools in the UNC system that they have the authority to issue a mandate themselves. The commission is going to meet tomorrow morning. Live in Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS 17 News. All right, Michael, thank you. Well, another big drop in COVID-19 hospitalizations. Right now, more than 5,700 COVID patients.